Hey, it's Raj Gandhi. If you've been on the hunt for a reliable, budget-friendly EV charger that works anywhere from your garage to on the road, stay tuned. Today I'm breaking down the EV Dance Level 1 slash Level 2 charger and why it's perfect for everyday EV drivers and the massive Black Friday deal you don't want to miss. First off, this is a standard 120 volt level one charger that you can plug into any standard household outlet. If you do have access to the NEMA 620R plug, that does allow you to charge up to three kilowatts. It does come with the adapter, so you can use that plug or the standard 120 volt plug. It comes with a generous 25 foot cable, IP66 dust and waterproof rating, and it's built to meet the UL2594 standards by holding an ETL certification for safety. In short, safe, rugged, and ready for any weather. The charger does support a smart app that lets you schedule charging, monitor real-time status, and manage energy usage right from your phone. Bottom line, when you order, you have the choice to pick either the app-enabled model or the current non-app version. This is the version I'm reviewing today. I'll put a link in the description. You can choose which one fits your needs. Certified for safety. Safety is non-negotiable. This charger is ETL certified and complies with the UL2594, meaning it's been rigorously tested for electrical safety, fire resistance, and a reliable operation. You can plug it in with confidence, no hidden surprises. So here's the EV Dance Level 1 charger. And goes from the level two charger to the level one adapter. Uh, plug then you can see the blue, it's ready to charge. So you can see really how handy a 25 foot cable is. I can back in, which I prefer to do when I charge. I can reach all the way to the front of this Nissan Leaf, and I still have plenty more space. So pretty awesome, I can. I usually like to kind of tuck this by the car so it's not a tripping hazard. So that's usually how I like to charge. Pretty awesome to have that length. If it was like a, a 20 foot, I wouldn't be able to reach the front like this. I would need an extension, which you can certainly do on these units, but it's nice when you don't have to. Let's do a little splash test while it's charging. So you can see no issues with getting doused with a lot of water. Still charging. So here's what a more powerful level two plug would look like. And this would handle up to sometimes nine kilowatts. On average, I'd say around six or seven. And when I've charged here, I can get up to about five or six. So that's what the outlet looks like. And this is the plug. So let's plug that in. Very heavy duty. And this is nice because it closes, keeps the rain out of it. And you, that's another way you can level two charge. You can definitely install these in your home as well, but be very cautious. Don't use like a standard like dryer plug like this. The, the, those aren't designed for long uses of high output. So you want to specifically an EV charge when you can kind of see this one has this little symbol for EV, so definitely do your homework, get one that can handle the load reliably. So this is what a level two looks like for charging. So here's an example of a public level two charger. So here you can see I'm currently charging my car. Um, this one's not charging because this one's docked and not in use right now. Uh, so you can see here level two, 32 amps. This is the kind of voltage range, 208 to 240 volts. Uh, level two is generally a 240 volt range, 200 to 240. And these are nice to use when you see these in the public. Um, if they're just like this, it's you can kind of assume it's free because there's no technology behind it to charge you. Um, the more public ones say like charge point, they do have the ability to charge you. And some are free, you just kind of have to 
check the station that you're at. So this is what it looks like in the public for level two. So here's an example of a DC fast charger. This is called a level three charger. That's DC fast charging. See, so they're a lot more current up to anywhere from 50 kilowatts up to 350 kilowatts. And traditionally you'll see the Chatamo here. This will probably eventually get phased out for the NACs or Tesla connectors. Um, this one will probably stay around for all this is a CCS. So this is, these are the DC fast charging ports there or connections. So you can see the cables a lot more heavy duty because there's a lot more power that goes through this to try to keep this cool. So this is what a level three looks like. So let's go over the three levels of charging your EV. There's level one, level two, and level three. Level one is what you find in your home outlets, one to 120 volts. This is something you would use to say charge your EV overnight or during the day while you're working. It's slow, but convenient and safe. Level two charging can be up to 240 volts, usually around 208 volts to 240 volts. This can get up to about nine kilowatts, depending on what your EV supports. So this is the dedicated home charger for faster top offs. Then there's level three DC fast charging. This can get you anywhere from 50 kilowatts to sometimes up to 350 kilowatts at some stations nowadays. So this is really good reserved for say road trips where you need to top off quickly or just have a quick um, top off maybe on your way home kind of deal. So to recap, if you drive less than about 30 miles a day, level one charging is usually more than enough. For level two charging, say you have a longer commute, um, you need to top off quickly as you get home level two is a nice option. And again, level three is reserved for mainly road trips or if you need to top off quickly. Here's some ideal situations for level one charging. Overnight charging while you sleep, it charges slowly but safely. This is good for low daily mileage drivers or perhaps for secondary vehicles that don't need rapid top offs. Maybe you live in an apartment and you don't have access to level two infrastructure. There's actually someone in my apartment complex that has a first gen leaf and they actually charge it from their apartment building. They're on the ground floor and they just run an extension cord in and it works great. Very safe to do it that way. This is always great to take with you when you travel. You never know when you might need it and there's plugs everywhere. Sometimes you may even find them at the bottom of um, light phone poles. I've definitely used that. There was one place I visit, um, Little Dell Reservoir, where there's one plug there and I do use it while I'm there just to kind of top off, which is really, really handy. Some of the pain points this addresses with level one charging, the cable length. So this has an awesome 25 foot cable. And I've seen a lot of other chargers out there from other brands where that's like 20 feet and it's just not quite enough. So I'm really glad this one's 25 feet. If we do need to extend it further, of course, use an extension cord that's rated for that load. If you have budget constraints, this is the most affordable way to get level one charging at home. And now for the sweet spot, the Black Friday special. This is a 25% discount plus any adapter of your choice. Say you need to go from a J1772 to a Tesla plug, or you can do vice versa. You can get a Tesla level one charger and go from a J1772 plug. Say maybe your current car is the old plug J1772 plug, but you, maybe your future different car will be a NAX or a Tesla enabled vehicle. So you can kind of prepare for the future that way. So once you have the car, you don't need the adapter. You're just going to keep it just in case. And this adapter is free as you add this to your order. So here is how you claim it. Pick the adapter you need in one of these images. Add the charger or extension cord and the chosen adapter to your cart. Enter the promo code EVD 25 Raj at checkout. The discount and free adapter apply automatically. No extra steps are needed. Charging with AC with level one charging is much gentler on your battery pack than frequent DC fast charging sessions. It reduces heat buildup in the battery and prolongs the lifespan of your battery. And this is great for long-term ownership of your EV. Home electricity rates are usually a fraction of the cost of public EV charging options. Over months, those savings add up quickly, especially if you're charging at night often. Plug it in, walk away, and you'll get a lot of range overnight, sometimes even topping it off completely, depending on the size of your EV battery. No lines, no waiting. 
which is very easily integrated into your daily routine. Because it's portable, it's always nice to have it in your trunk whenever you're traveling. There's many opportunities to charge on the road with level one charging. You could even pair it with some of those portable power stations that you see to actually charge your EV from those stations in emergency. I've actually done a video on that and I'll link to that below as well. The 25 foot cable gives you the freedom to park anywhere you'd like. The carport, the garage, sometimes even the street. You can just run an extension cord to get the length you need and charge with freedom. If you're ready to upgrade your EV charging game, grab the link in the description, use my 25% discount code, and get a free adapter at checkout. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.